I held out for making this video until now because I wasn't sure if this was a fight that I wanted to get involved in. I don't know if this is the sort of content I wanted on my channel. When I first started, I wanted to be like an upbeat comedic place where I could do my best to make people laugh and to help them escape for a little while. For years, I've all I've wanted to do is entertain people and make them feel better. I don't know if my channel is the best place for, as I call it, social justice warrioring, but if I don't say what I need to say here, it's just going to keep bothering me, and it may never stop. Whether or not you like or agree with what I have to say is up to you, but at least I said what I needed to say. About a month ago, a YouTuber by the name of Nicole Arbor posted a video called Dear Instagram Models, and then everything just went downhill from there. In the video, she basically rips on girls who post selfies on Instagram, something that can be mildly annoying at times, but certainly does not warrant a monologue of that degree. She was absolutely brutal, and not in a good way, either. Because you can have a brutal roast of something, and it's, it's funny and whatnot, and then there's just slander. I'm all for good roasting every so often, but what she said was nothing short of harassment. Not only was it totally unnecessary and blatant clickbait, it got a lot of positive reviews from other women, which is strange to me because, aside from some personal disputes, I've always been under the assumption that women were usually on each other's sides for the most part. I found out what, somewhat disturbing that they would be okay with needlessly bashing their own kind like that. She then proceeds to post more videos similar to this, such as Why You Really Got Divorced, Why Girls Are Crazy, and Most Offensive Video Ever. All harassing to a particular group of people, all obvious clickbait, all of them more nonsensical than the last. So nonsensical that it almost seems like she was just saying random sentences in a random order, and it was our job to piece them together on our own time into something that made sense. That's not happening. I won't do it. I don't know of anyone else who would do that. The shit finally hits the fan when she uploads a video on September 3rd called Dear Fat People. The second I see this title, I knew this was just going to ruin my day. Just going by what her pre her four previous videos involved, I just knew this one was going to be a shit show. For those of you who haven't seen it, you can search it for yourselves because I absolutely refuse it to link that kind of shit. But if you don't feel like looking for it, I'll summarize it. Oh, uh, yeah, crap. I'll summarize it for you right now. She goes on a five minute rant about how fat people are basically the scum of the earth, how fat people get special treatment because they're fat, which is not a real thing. How she has seen fat people get to board planes before her because they're fat, also not a real thing. And about how she's jealous that fat people get to eat whatever they want. And, of course, acting like she has no ability to do that of, of her own. C claims that there are such things as fat people parking spaces, and by this point we're on our third thing, which doesn't actually exist. And the rest of the video is just her just dehumanizing fat people, making up scenarios where fat people have inconvenienced her like that, such as causing her aboard a plane 20 minutes late, and because of that, she actually says this, she couldn't get her precious Starbucks, and there's a whole plethora of other th fake incidences that have never actually happened to her, or anyone, ever. She threw in some random act-outs that have absolutely nothing to do with the topic, and at one point she even racially profiled brown people, quote-unquote, as she called them, her words, not mine. My favorite part completely has to be at the end where she acts as if she just dropped the biggest truth bomb of 2015, where in reality her video has more of an effect similar to that of a cluster bomb. Also, Nicole, if you ever watch this video, just a quick pro tip for you. Probably not the best to ask the people you're about to insult whether or not it looks like you have semen in your hair, because by the end, by the time the video is over, the answer will unanimously be yes. Now, it's pretty safe to say by this point that Nicole Arbor isn't exactly the nicest human being on the planet. And the skeletons of her closet really came out when YouTuber Rob Dyke, someone whose videos I've enjoyed watching for a long time, started absolutely fucking roasting her on Twitter, claiming that Nicole is even worse of a person than we initially thought. On Tuesday, September 8th, Rob Dyke appeared on the Todd Shapiro show on Sirius XM Radio and told the story of how Nicole physically and verbally abused her ex-boyfriend, Matthew Santoro, a YouTuber who I've also had the pleasure of watching for over a year and a half. I won't get into specifics on what exactly he said, but it sheds light on what kind of a person Nicole Arbor really is. As a powerful, powerful wake-up call to anyone who isn't aware that men can also be victims of domestic abuse. 
I'll link the whole video in the description. It's it's not it's something that needs to be heard from a source. I can do it absolutely no justice by describing what's in it. You just have to hear it for yourselves. Another thing that bothered me is the amount of people that have shared this video on Facebook and Twitter and who are praising Nicole for what she said, as if she's some sort of prophet or savior come to rid the world of the fatties, I guess. It's even more troubling that the people who I've seen share and praise this video are people that I've long considered to be friends. These are people that I've hung out with, worked with, went to school with, etc. And to see them celebrating this video felt like an absolute total betrayal to me. It felt like they were saying to me personally, Hey, remember all those times when we hung out? I actually couldn't stand to be near you because the mere, pre the mere sight of you disgusts me. A message to all of you who did praise this video. This was not a truth bomb. This was not edgy. This was not comedy. This was not an opinion piece. It was verbal abuse. Verbal abuse to a group of people who she cannot even relate to in the slightest. Plain and simple. People kill themselves over stuff like this. Every day, someone thinks that the only way to escape the hate and pain is to end their very existence. I don't know if you're aware of this, and I don't... I didn't realize it, or you don't realize it, or you just flat out don't care because you think that they're weak, or you think that they're just making a mountain out of a molehill. I don't know what your thing is, but you really need to rethink it. Coincidentally, the Davis is being uploaded September 10th is World Suicide Prevention Day. And I've pretty much already said what I need to say about suicide in my The Static Speaks My Name video, which for those of you who haven't seen, it, it's a short game, which is about the thought process of someone who is minutes away from taking their own life. And I can't even think about or watch that video back without just feeling totally unnerved, totally creeped out, and just uncomfortable in every sense of the word. What I said then and what I'm going to say now are really nothing different than what you're going to hear from anyone else today. And the reason for that is because it's the absolute truth. If you're sitting here watching this video, genuinely considering doing something horrible to yourself, I beg you, please don't. I don't know what exactly is causing you specifically to feel this way, but whatever the reason is, it's not worth taking your own life over. I'm not saying that to trivialize the problem, but no problem warrants that kind of solution. I ask you to please seek help from a family member, a trusted friend, a professional whose job it is to help you in times like this. There are websites, hotlines, and chat rooms that are specifically designed to get you all the help you need to get you through whatever it is you're going through. I'll link as many as I can find down in the description below, and I highly suggest using them. And if you don't hear it from anyone else today, just know that you are loved. Your feelings are never invalid, and most importantly, you matter. Your life has value, and you are important. Even if it feels like the whole world is saying you don't. Trust me when I say you matter in every way. Trust me when I say that I felt this way before. In this part of my life more than ever, m more recently. And I know that the feelings of being insignificant, the feelings of being alone and forgotten will pass in time. Suicide has never been, is not now, nor will it ever be the solution. There are many kind and compassionate people in this world and so many who want to help. And I guarantee you they'll do everything in their power to help and things will get better. I promise you. So I'll wrap this up by saying to all the people who are struggling right now, it'll get better. You just need to hang in there. To all the people who want help but have no idea what to do, just be kind. Be compassionate. Simply saying hello to someone can make that person's day. It's really not that hard. Just be good people and it'll, it'll just come to you. The golden rule, I think, also applies here. If you don't know what that is, search that. I don't know why you wouldn't, but you never know. Look that up, and that's thoroughly applies here, not just in this situation, but in any situation. To the victims of domestic abuse, which I'm surprised that we got into this topic today, and whether you're a man or a woman suffering from domestic abuse, it's not your fault. It's never your fault. There are so many people who can help you. Find them and put a stop to this. You're strong, and you're not alone. To Rob Dyke, who... If you guys don't follow him on Twitter, please go follow at the Rob Dyke and subscribe to his YouTube channel, which I'll link down below. Great content, amazing stuff. Rob, you're an amazing person for standing up for your friend who really did not have the courage to stand up for himself in this. And being a voice of thousands of people who didn't have a voice for which to defend themselves in this whole mess. I gained so much respect for you this weekend. It's absolutely unreal. Keep up the good work, man. Consider me a loyal subscriber. And to Matthew Santoro, I just wanted, wanted you to know 
that no one in your fan base thinks any less of you for what's been going on. It's a shitty situation. You made your way out of it, and for that, we're proud of you. I know I subbed to you because your videos are so well done, and you seem so genuinely excited about making them, and about getting to do all the things that come along with a big YouTuber. There's such a genuineness to your stuff, man, and it's, it's just... It's so refreshing. Keep doing what you do and keep making people smile because I enjoy seeing the knowledge whale and I know everyone else does as well. And last, and by certainly all means least, to Nicole Arbor. I'm not going to raise my voice. I'm not going to get angry because I've spent the last week of my life being angry at this. And I'm not going to insult you. I'm going to show you the courtesy that you have shown none of us who you've insulted in this whole thing. I've watched some of your videos before these ones. And you seem like you can actually be very clever when you want to be. You seem like you have a quick wit and great comedic timing. And it's a shame that those gifts that I, gifts that I would absolutely kill for are being used on videos like this. It's absolutely sickening to me that you're wasting what talents you have to make such hateful content like this. Your video could have very well been what pushed someone over the edge to take their own life. And the thought that you probably don't even care about that scares me more than anything has in a long time. Nicole, I don't believe in a lot of things, but one thing I thoroughly believe in is karma, and it's going to hit you like a shovel. And when it does, I just hope someone is there recording it. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other.